Yeah, Plutona says, is Mexico kind of parted between North and South Mexico regarding cartel civil culture? Indeed, the in Mexico, in Mexico, Northern Mexico, you got a lot of cartels and stuff like this, that basically a lot of them uh, are working hand in glove with the DEA, uh, fast and furious guns being sent, sent to Mexico to certain cartels by the US government trying to, you know, centralize more power right because what is imperialism really has done throughout the centuries i mean the best example was africa where the europeans when they wanted a certain resource in a certain region let's say congo right for them to get that stuff out they had to go through multiple tribes make a deal or they were going to bring build train tracks and stuff through make a deal with multiple tribes to be able to get those resources out while the europeans went the hell with that we're going to take a minority in a certain area okay make a deal with them arm the shit out of them right and tell them you've been persecuted for a long time by these other tribes or you want to expand your land or you guys are whatever right convince them that Western Europe is gonna arm them support them finance them as long as they can subdue the natives if you want to call it in a certain region so the European powers can come and extract the resources right that's the history of Africa basically the only country that I know of that they weren't able to do this was Ethiopia really right and that has multiple reasons associated with it right so that's what they do that's what certain powers do when they want to go into a region that's too complicated they want to centralize power because it's easy to corrupt the central power right and to make deals with the central power and extract resources to get them to do whatever you want that's why there are people here and here that are globalists because they want to centralize everything in the globe to davos and the united states so london united states davos western powers control everything well guess what asia has something to say about that russia has something to say about that the Middle East has something to say about that, and Africa saying "fuck you," right? That should be clear by now, right? That's why Libya was destroyed, right? Gaddafi came in and said, "Oh, we're going to come up with a African currency backed by gold, oil, water, right? Pretty stable, the most high standard of living in all all of Africa." What did Europe and the United States do and Canada right they annihilated Libya with slave labor right they cannot allow they cannot allow Western powers cannot allow right the global south any country to become strong enough to to create a cooperative to create a collective within a region right where all the different countries and factions are working together for their own prosperity right that's the game at play and that's exactly what's going on in mexico in northern mexico in southern mexico you have the indigenous tribes really a lot of them in power right so the cartels as far as i know they're not as active down here as they are up there because the money is here the cartels make their money by feeding the beast right the consumption beast right that's a given right and human trafficking and what do you call the united states for people that have been trying to get out of the conflict zones right 